Okay, hello everybody. It's um, Thursday the 4th of January 2024. So Happy New Year everyone. And I uh, hope it's going to be a, a big year. I know it's going to be a big year for me. I've uh, got lots of things planned. Um, starting from today, we're going to right up to Coromandel and uh, to Fletcher's Bay. Fletcher's Bay, it's right at the top of Coromandel. And, um, so we're going to do that today, camping overnight. I might even stay for two two nights. I've got enough gear to last about two weeks. It's the old story, you've got to take the same amount of gear for one night as you would for free. So um, yeah, we've got Coromandel today. We're going to Coromandel and um, there's five of us going at the moment. So we've got uh, Paul and Sue, Alan and Rob and myself. So uh, looking forward to that. It's going to be a great weekend. And then um, February, 19th of February, you head off down to the South Island. To 15 day tour on the motorbikes, uh, Peter and myself. It's sort of an annual event now. So it's another another trip to look forward to. Maybe even next week there might be a trip, uh, a two or three nighter in the lower North Island of New Zealand. Anyway. So this is the bike loaded this has got the tent and uh, lilo and pump sleeping bag all the stuff here's paul hey, hey mate you good to see you <laughs> I'm ready to I'm ready to go for a month. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, we're off. Just coming up to the uh Kopu Bridge. I've seen that a few times on the videos. Okay, so this is uh, Thames, pretty busy. We're going down to this cafe down the end there. But, um, Obviously the busy time of the year now. Okay, so we've just had a bit of, I don't know, early lunch I suppose, something. Uh, the cafe back there, I was going to film it, but the place is really busy. So uh, we're now heading over to, um, or up to Coromandel Township, where we'll, uh, some of the boys, uh, to get some uh, refreshments and uh, some will get petrol before we uh, do the last leg up to uh, Fletcher's Bay which is uh, which is really what I want to film this is the Thames uh, estuary up here to the left there We're going right to the tip, right to the point out there. It's a great ride up there once you get through Coromandel and uh, you know, you a little, it's, I'm not sure how long it is, but it's uh, probably 60 k's at least, I'd say. I'm guessing 50 to 60 k's compact gravel. Um, we're going to stay at a dock camp, the Department of Conservation camp. Just got the basics. Um, 
think it's cold water showers, which is better than nothing. Um, but yeah, it's right on the beach, so uh, should be good actually. Weather's good, so looking forward to that. It's uh, quite a steady stream of traffic. We're really in the holiday season now. Uh, some people will probably uh, go back to work this week and uh, some people next week of course. It's only the 4th of January. Oh look at that view eh? Look at the roads giving way there look. A slow trip over, I've got to say. But that's, uh, that's what you get in the holidays. I think um, Paul wants some petrol, so. Well, as you can see, pretty busy. It's good for Coromandel. Plenty of tourists, which is good. This is where we were um, a few weeks ago, we did a video, um, I'll put a shortcut to it here on the uh, on this one, on this video, and uh, yeah there was uh, Rob, uh, sorry uh, there was Alan and Peter and myself, we stayed up here at the top 10 campground, we've got a cabin member, and uh, that's where we had dinner at the pub there. Top 10 there where we stayed at. Right, well, uh, oh, that water's just so blue. Might be going for a swim today, I think. Be the first swim in the ocean for many years. We've hit the uh, gravel. Don't really want to see someone coming around the other way. <laughs> Oh, there is someone coming. A few cars come around, uh, quite narrow as you can see, but uh, not too bad so far. These are the boys. 
boys in front. Pretty good, isn't it? Really, you gotta say, pretty good. People are wild camping there. Freedom camping permitted. <laughs> That was a bit of fun going through that. People fishing down there. Just a couple more coming. See where we gotta go over there around the coastline up the hill at the top there. Right, well, I'm pretty sure this is where the little creek is that uh, is on my sticker um, NZ on two wheels. Ah, there's water there, that's good. Look at that. <laughs> Can't take my eyes. Take your eyes off the road. Not really. Fletcher Bay, this is us.
Well, we had a look at that bay. That's where we were supposed to stay. Fletcher's Bay. But uh, just looked a bit um, spread out camp, but no shade. Very little shade. And uh, you don't want to be waking up in the morning at four or five o'clock in the morning, hot as hell in the tent. So the other one had a lot of shade trees and it was much closer to the beach as well um, Jackson's Bay I think we're going to back, back to Jackson's Bay yeah Fletcher's too far too far to walk to the beach from where we if we put a tent up there not enough shade pretty uh, pretty spread out camp Okay, we're pretty much set up now. Here's the Taj Mahal. Standing room only. <laughs> <laughs> That's for Pete. Standing room only, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was a good day, a uh, good day's ride. And um, everyone survived, but uh, here's our camp. But here's our view. Have a look at this. It's much better than the other place. Sandy beach rather than stony beach. Isn't that fantastic? So the guy's got a bivy hanging away from home. So we're right there. She has a toilets down there. So we just perch ourselves under these trees. Inside my little Taj Mahal here. 